I love it. My kids absolutely adore it. I haven't got an opportunity to get Ethan in there yet because we still got to get a prescription for his uh, wheelchair for the shower. My son Ethan will be six on September 8th. Yeah, he was born with a lack of oxygen to the brain. He can't walk, talk, eat nothing by mouth. Yeah, 24 hour nursing. I had to learn everything there was to know about you know, taking care of Ethan before they'd even allow me to take him home. You know, down to you know, feeding him through feeding pump, suctioning him. He's had an apnea monitor, you know, a pulse oximeter. You know, he requires oxygen when he sleeps. You know, I had to learn a lot of this stuff at a very young age, you know, but, you know, I... I've been taking care of Ethan for three years now. And uh, I come here in the mornings and he's usually still asleep and I wake him up at 8 o'clock. What makes him happy is just to show him a lot of attention and play with him and, you know, sometimes tickling him and just playing with him and showing him attention. And especially when you exercise his arms or legs, he really likes that and he, he smiles. My goal for the day is to make him smile. It makes me smile. <laughs> so. The first day we met Joshua, of course, was the day that his, his family was chosen for the, as a recipient for the giveaway. And we knocked on his door, I think we caught him totally by surprise. It was kind of neat. He came out and here's 20 people standing in his front yard and I think he just was in awe. It, Joshua was kind of a quiet guy, a little bit standoffish and uh, he just didn't know what to expect. It's definitely overwhelming. I didn't realize the sign would be as big as it was. <laughs> So the next step was after the designs were picked, the families came in and chose their design. The designers had put all the parts and pieces together. Brock at that point had to take this and make it real, had to bring it to life. Ethan's bathroom started out with a tub. We tore the tub out, uh, put in a mud bed. It's now the whole floor is sloped to that bed so they can wheel him right in there. We were able to turn all that work in nine days, which we felt was very important, and give them the functionality that they needed so that Ethan could have a clean bedroom, uh, be able to mop the floor, and have a bathroom that he could be pushed into and showered. Hey Josh, hey we didn't know how to like give you the keys to your new bathroom, so that's the keys to your new bathroom. <laughs> we really appreciate the opportunity to get to work on your bathroom. How do you like that? You could use that in the shower. I like the bathroom. You do? So do you? Awesome. If it's okay, maybe a couple of times could they see the bathroom? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, awesome. Linda, you get to oh look at your work. <laughs> Don't get out of your hair. Oh, wow! To do a handicapped bathroom right for these families, it's not cheap for them. It's not easy for them. They struggle. So that's one of the reasons we felt like these families needed help. So when you spend $20,000 on a bathroom like that, it can be hard on the family. Fortunately, we had a lot of help. We had our suppliers that stepped up with materials that helped us. We had the Newburn family step up with central air conditioning. Uh, there's just so many that helped in so many different ways that was able, that's how we were actually able to do two of these, so the burden wasn't so great because it was shared by many. I love the granite countertops and the removable shower heads, you know, the having two, you know, makes it more accessible for Ethan, you know, to accommodate for his needs, you know. I'll never forget the conversation that Jim had with me. He said, Paul, I'd rather do one of these every year than to give out a few hundred dollars here and there and you never see the results. You never even know if the money went to the right place. He said, at least now I know that my giving back is going to actually help someone and you'll be able to physically see that help. They went beyond my expectations. You know, they did an excellent job. I was really impressed with it. I developed a relationship with Joshua, with, with his children, Hunter and Pepe. I mean, they're just awesome kids, and obviously Ethan. 
who I hadn't honestly met until the day we started the work. And when I went in Ethan's room and met him for the first time, I knew why I was doing this. And to watch that family change as we were there, it, it changed us. And, and I feel like Joshua and I will be friends for a long time.